Time now, ladies and gentlemen, for the middleweights. He arrives in Arnhem, winner of 10 of his last 11 bouts, six of those by knockout. Here is Caesar Almeida. First five bouts. Here is Donovan Wisa. Visa has family on his mind tonight. His mother is watching him fight in person in Holland for the first time ever. And tomorrow morning, he heads to his native Suriname in South America for two months. He gets to relax and hopefully with a win in his mind. But Visa is really young and it's just a, a talented prospect we have. I mean, he's already beat the top in the division. He's fought Yusri Belgari, got a win. In his last fight, he fought Jason Wilness, former champion, got himself a dominant win. So you got to think Donovan Misa is really close to a title shot. Here's our tale of the tape. In the middleweight division, both of these men coming in on hot streaks. Donovan Misa, 4 1 in glory. Almeida has won 10 of his last 11. It'll be Misa with a slight two inch reach advantage. Professional experience, the big edge going to Almeida. That's a very impressive of those 53 fights, a 59% KO ratio. But you got to think this, you know, recent glory experience of Visa could play in his favor. This middleweight matchup scheduled for three three minute rounds and introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner. He is a WKN world champion and a WGP Brazilian champion. His professional record, 46 wins, six losses, one draw, and 27 career knockouts. Standing six feet even, 1.84 meters. He weighed in at fight time at an even 187 pounds, 84.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, here is Cesar Almeida. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner. Moved to number two in the Glory World Rankings after a unanimous decision win in Lyon. His professional record, 14 wins with just one loss. Eight of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, he weighed in at 186.7 pounds, 84.7 kilos. He fights tonight out of Suriname. Please welcome Donovan Wiesa. And the third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like. We know how good Donovan Judge. Misa is. Judge. We're about to Judge. find out how good Cesar Almeida is. They threw him right into the Let's fire, go. didn't they? Yep, and his record proves that he belongs fight. here. He believes they brought him in, Cesar Almeida, to challenge Alex Pereira. He's beaten him before, thinks he can do it again. But first things first, he's got to get past the number two ranked middleweight in the world. Almeida in the black gloves, Donovan Visa, Suriname's finest in the white. Already you see some good eyes and sharpness from Visa slipping off, tack the body. But Almeida said, everything I throw is precise. No wasted energy. Visa said it doesn't matter who my opponent is, my strategy is the same. Hit and don't get hit. It's just impressive at 22 years old to have wins over guys like Belgari and Will. Nice left hook, and that buckle oh, is up, and down he goes one, in round one. Two, three, oh, man, two comfortable four, just sitting there taking five, those punches. Six, seven, eight. Gloves up. Fight. Can he survive the round? How about Donovan Visa? This is where true experience comes from. Let's see how Almeida adapts now. Almeida, 31 years old, has had over 50 pro fights. Fight! Let's see if he can navigate his way out of trouble here. And he just went southpaw now. That high kick just missed. Left hook connects. Good combination work from Wisa. Mixing the punches, the kicks. Look at that power. Straight right hand. 
High kick. Beast is pulling everything out. And he's putting it in combinations. He's not relying on one shot. And he's mixing the punches and the kicks. Made it now combo back. Now, Maida hasn't had a chance to show us anything. Oh, a quick takedown. No throws. That was obviously on purpose. Fight! That's an MMA move. A nice job by Paul Nichols, the referee, to get him right back in there because Almeida wanted some time to breathe. Nichols didn't let him have it. I like that Almeida can switch stances. But as a southpaw, who knows how good his defense is. That's where Luis is putting those wicked combinations together. Now Almeida finally getting some offense. Probably like to just regroup here after the end of round one. Break. This will be a 10-8 round for sure. Fight. Ooh, quick counter from Lisa. Pressing combination work for Jonathan so far. So Almeida does well to survive the round and actually land a few shots himself in the first. Yeah, definitely composed himself, used that experience, and stayed calm and collected. Luis has just been very explosive with his punches, and there he found a beautiful left hook set up with a straight right. Boom! Right on the target. I mean, very impressive, and I've been liking the combination work from Luisa. Was able to land his punches, mix his kicks in, change levels, and just stay technical throughout the round. Donovan Visa, as I mentioned, from Suriname, he'll get on the plane tomorrow morning. He says once he gets off the plane, a couple of his fighters that train in the gym owns in Suriname are fighting. And he's going to go coach them in the corner and says, I'm more nervous about that than the fight tonight. Almeida from Sao Paulo, Brazil, as we talk about his precision. But tonight is going to be about his defense and countering. Fight! Round two, scheduled for three. Keep him up. Back into the combination work. How does Almeida work himself back into this fight? Well, I think he just needs to be a little bit busier now. Or use his counters. Once he knows Visa's done comboing, he's got to fire right back. Because he definitely respects that power. That's what I'm talking about. As soon as Visa's done, come back with something. Oh, good body shot. Yeah, left hook ripper to the to the liver area. Yep, got his head off center line to get it. Almeida deciding to stay southpaw in the second round. From what you've seen from Donovan Visa, not just tonight, but in his glory career, how would he do if he gets a crack at Alex Pereira? I think he would do great. I think he has the power and the distance control. I mean, he's still new to his career, and that's why I kind of like, you know, keep building him as much as we can because, you know, he doesn't have that much pro experience, only 15 pro fights. He's only 22 years old, but when you're great, you're great. Yeah. He's definitely a, a special fighter. Giving him some instructions. Three straight wins for Visa in glory, including victories over Yusuf Belgari and Jason Wilkes. No holding. Fight! Beat those two guys, you're ready for the top. <laughs> Time. Okay, it's a couple of times now. Keep your kicks up, you understand? You good? Timing, fight! Minute to go here in round two. It's a must win round for the Brazilian, who is once again making his glory debut. <laughs> A little bit more activity this round from Almeida. Looks much more comfortable. Yes, yes. 
But Visa can change the fight in one strike. Yeah, especially when he explodes out of the shell. He gets his head offline to throw those power shots. Break! It's Almeida's corner. Fight! Fernando Maestro, Felipe Lima. Break! Jerson Constantino. Fight! <laughs> a lot of success for the Brazilian fighters. Break! Alex and Vinay Pereira doing well. Bruno Gazzani surprised us in his last fight. Oh, nice right hand there for Visa. Yep. Especially now that Omeda self caught that right straight there for him. Stop! He do what he's fighting. Tonight, the biggest fight stand-up combat history takes place. Glory Collision 2. The king of kickboxing heavyweight champion Rico Berhugan takes on the legend Bader Hari. Check the Glory website, glorykickboxing.com, on how you can watch. It's available in most parts of the world on pay-per-view through UFC Fight Pass. So log on to UFCFightPass.com to be part of kickboxing's greatest event, Collision 2, for the heavyweight title. Just moments ago, Bader Hari arriving here at the Helderdome. Everywhere he goes, it's a mob scene, Joe. Yeah, everybody's always surrounded. He's got that big presence wherever he goes. He's always got his Bader army with him. And the champ, Rico Verhoeven. <laughs> all business, all the time, at least for this fight. He needs to stay focused. The longest layoff of Rico's career. Yeah. But he's one of the hardest working guys, always training. Doesn't take a day off. And he said he had about a year of training camp for this fight. And he's doing a lot of things outside of the sport, but he says he always makes sure he trains first because all those other things go away if he doesn't fight. Oh, nice switch knee there for Almeida, who's threatening Visa here in the corner. And then it's some great good punches, too. Fight! What a comeback this would be. Look at the strikes landed there in round two. There's a high kick for Visa. Great. No holding. Fight. Yeah, Almeida's tough. And the way he came back. Better second round and doing great so far in this third. Number two middleweight in Glory's rankings, Diamond Visa. In a tough fight now against Cesar Almeida, who he put down on the canvas in the first. And the way Almeida fell to the canvas for the first couple seconds, I thought it was over. Yeah, I mean, his eyes completely rolled back. Not many people get up from a, a shot like that. Not only did he get up, Joe, but he is excelling. Ooh. Could we see, could we see a second extra round fight? We need to save Tim Hughes' voice. <laughs> we can't get him yelling again. <laughs> Still to come later tonight, Glory 74, the middleweight champion. Also from Brazil, Alex Pereira facing Ertigal by Rack. Made a really one in a spin kick. He's thrown it about three or four times now. Almeida keeping his gloves down, and Visa almost caught it. And that explosiveness from Visa slowly gone out, but still very powerful. Still put in, needs to put his combinations together. Almeida's got to dig deep here in the last 30 seconds. He's still in this fight, Joe. Needs this round for sure. No. Fight. Paul Nichols says that was a clean strike. Ten seconds left. The level changes now from Almeida. Just slipped out of those punches. Nice high kick for Almeida. Left hand for Visa. Interesting scorecard coming our way here from Arnhem, the Netherlands. Joe. 
other than that first round, which was an obvious 10-8 round, how did you see it? Well, I think the third round is Almeida, so I think it's going to come down to that second round. You know, I could see how Visa can get the win, but I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to a draw round because Almeida had some great moments in that second. So to me, it comes down to that second round. Here are the highlights from this middleweight showdown. Yeah, first round, Wisa showing his power, explosiveness, getting that knockdown. And even the way Almeida found, we were surprised he came back. But one of the most impressive things with, with Visa was his combinations, mixing his punches and his kicks, and mixing levels. Look at those beautiful combinations. But we saw Almeida really start to pick things up, starting to stay in the pocket, mix his strikes, mix some knees, and found some good punches, mixing his combinations. Still a close fight. So a lot of respect between the two gentlemen. Both of these fighters have a long flight tomorrow. They're headed back to South America. Visa, as you can see, had the better round one, but rounds two and three tilted, at least statistically, for Cesar Almeida, but who had the more effective strike? Yeah, that's what matters is what's doing the damage, not necessarily how much you throw. Almeida making his glory debut. Joe, win or lose, what do you make of the 31-year-old? Well, I think he's going to do great. I think he's got good experience. He's talented. He showed experience by getting knocked down, getting back up. He'll stay in your face. He can mix his strikes well. I think we have a good contender here. These scores are taking a while to tabulate, Joe, and usually that means yeah. they want to double check, you know? Especially when you've got five judges. It's a lot of numbers to crunch. But Tim Hughes is college educated, he's yeah. very intelligent, and he will make sure they're right before he starts to read anything. Yeah, he's, he's told me sometimes he's had to go back to some of the judges to make sure he's that particular. Here he comes. It's like Santa Claus. We can't wait to see what he brings us. Here are the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance. So once again, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our five ringside judges. One judge scores the bout even, 28-28. One judge scores it, 29-27. And our three remaining judges all see it, 30-26. It is a majority decision. All for your winner, Donovan Wiesa! Congratulations, Donovan Visa ended up getting that win by majority decision, but I think a closer and tougher fight than he anticipated. Yeah, and Cesar Almeida, I think, is here to stay in glory. Yeah. Take that knockout out of the equation, which obviously is a big thing yeah, to do. Absolutely. But he probably won this fight. Yeah, he looks great. I mean, I still like him. There's a good potential matchups for him. So let's bring him back and see what he can do. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, it is our featured fight on the Glory Super Fight Series. It will go to the heavyweight division as Jafar Wildis is on display here tonight in his home country of the Netherlands taking on Antonio Plazabach.